Stroke is the third leading cause of death in the world. There are 26 million people who survive stroke, but many are left with serious neurological deficits. In the last year, we've seen a major advance in the treatment of stroke. Mechanical thrombectomy restores blood flow to the injured brain. As a result, many patients now walk out of the hospital instead of being left with serious neurological disabilities. Mechanical thrombectomy requires early intervention. Patients need quick evaluation and urgent restoration of blood flow. This has dramatically changed our entire approach to managing patients who present with stroke-like symptoms. Many stroke survivors are not able to resume their usual daily activities. They may be left with significant disability, they won't be able to drive or return to work. Vascular neurologists focus on identifying causes of stroke early and trying to intervene before there's permanent brain injury. Cardiac MRI may reveal clots even in patients who do not suffer from atrial fibrillation. This opens up the window for treating a greater number of patients with anticoagulant therapies that may dramatically reduce their risk of recurrent stroke. Clinicians recognize that patients who present with either cognitive dysfunction or neuropsychiatric disorders may actually be experiencing small strokes. Although stroke can occur in younger patients, it's important to realize that not all stroke-like symptoms are actually due to an acute vascular occlusion. Young women in particular may present with stroke-like symptoms due to other conditions that we call stroke mimics. It's essential that acute responders and acute medical providers use imaging and other clinical tools to distinguish between acute strokes and other conditions. There's tremendous excitement about precision medicine and its applications in stroke. Integrating genetic and imaging information may help tailor approaches to the individual. Management of intracerebral hemorrhage, stroke prevention, and stroke recovery are areas in which additional research is needed. In the future, we may be able to prevent stroke in the majority of patients at risk for this serious condition and improve outcomes and quality of life for patients with all manifestations of cerebrovascular disease.